Welcome back this morning. We have a special treat today. We're in the WCAX orchards, as we like to call it. Yes. Uh, testing out some wines. Yes, a different kind of orchard, but Ryan and Donald are here from Feral Distributing. Ryan, tell us a little bit about Feral Distributing. Sure, well, thanks, Molly. You know, we've been providing premium beverages and brands, wine, beer, and soda, non-alcoholic stuff for over 80 years. And uh, we're actively engaged in the community throughout the whole state, top to bottom and uh, always participating in numerous charitable events and nonprofits uh, to help those in need in the communities that we serve. Excellent, and you guys brought us some wines. Donald is the expert here. Donald, you say these are great fall transition wines. What makes it a good fall transition wine? Both for their robustness and just their balance of acidity to good fruit and their simple pairings with a lot of different foods. And they're affordable too, all these wines under 20 bucks? Absolutely, all under 20 bucks, I'm even close to $10. Nice. So, so let's go through big them. Big variation. Well, let's start, uh, let us probably best to go lightest, right? Lightest body to full body, absolutely. We'll start with the Red Tail Ridge Winery. It's coming out of uh, Seneca Lake in the Finger Lakes District. Uh, small little family producer uh, producing this this Chardonnay in itself is an un -oak style, so very clean, crisp, notes of pear and apricot. Just a really fresh, bright style of wine. And kind of a new hot trend in the Chardonnay right, business. Move on to the second one. This is Crescent Bay Red. This is a Vermont wine. It is, out of South Eero, and uh, just recently repurchased by the original landowners, uh, Dave. Uh, Lane is his name, and uh, the wine itself is a Baco Noir and a, another couple blends of two other red varietals. Kind of very nice Vermont style, ripe cherry fruit, and kind of good balance. What do you want to put that with? What do you want to pair it with? Uh, just any local dish. Right now, especially roasts, anything like that. You can also do uh, roasted good. squash. Yeah. Squash. Pretty much easy. Yummy. Coming close to Thanksgiving. All right, so tell us about this, um, the hook and ladder. What is this? Hook and Ladder is out of Sonoma. It's another family winery. Uh, the Tillerman is named after Cecil Deloche, the whole Hook and Ladder brand. He was a Tillerman, the driver on the back of a, of a fire truck, the San Francisco Fire Department. And uh, this is a blend of uh, Cabernet, Cab Franc, uh, Merlot, and Sangiovese. Wow, a lot, going on. A lot, a lot going on. Sounds pretty good. Ryan, you were digging this wine, right? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that's one of my favorites of the bunch. I always look forward to what Donald's picks are, and that's always uh, that's a good one. I think you maybe had yeah. dibs on that one, too. <laughs> All right, and finally, tell us about this final Last wine. Last but not least, Alta Cedro. Uh, Kareem is the winemaker inside of La Consulta in Mendoza, and just uh, Melbeck is an incredibly popular varietal and uh, is just rich, bold, and goes a lot of different meats and uh, grills and all the rest. So, oh fantastic yeah, winery. Awesome. You, you wonder why I lean on this guy for now. <laughs> right. yeah. Well, yeah. Ryan, That's you guys stuff. don't sell to um, individual people, but you're saying that if you do have a wine request, you, you can go through a store and they, and they can go to you? That's right. Where you buy your local wines, you can uh, talk to your retailer about bringing these in. So we sell directly to the stores. And all the wines that we have and everything in our entire portfolio is on our website, which we're launching this afternoon. Oh boy. So we're going to have all our beer, wine, and our sodas and our non-alcoholic beverages available to view so you can see what we have. We're going to do next month too, right? Yeah, next month we're going to focus on some, some pumpkin yep. beers and some October appropriate wine. When is it right. appropriate? <laughs> Thank you, Donald and Ryan, for being here. We really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, guys.